Ooh, hey guys, welcome back to Network Chuck. Now, don't get me wrong, Python is awesome. Everything is awesome. But you know what's not awesome? Is learning it. I, I can't believe how frustrating it is. Like CCNA, CCMP, that stuff came like so natural to me. Python, it's like learning Chinese. Good morning and welcome to Chinese with Mike. But you know what, I did start to learn it. How? I took a course that really got me started. Like I actually started coding. So if you wanna know more about that course, I'm giving away 10 copies of that course in this video, stay tuned. Now, I, you know, I jumped on the whole Python thing when I, when I first heard about SDN or network programmability. I jumped on pretty quick. I wanted to be like a, a guy who was ahead of the curve because back then I thought it was going to be the future and I still do and you know what, it's kind of, it's. Now is the future and it's happening. It really is happening. But the courses I tried to take back when I was trying to learn Python, oh my gosh, so stinking dry. I mean, you probably, if you've tried to learn Python, you've probably seen this before yourself. You get into Python and the first thing you hit is like a, a ton of theory. Gives you all like the programming basics. And I'm like, I, I mean, I, I know I need to learn it, but this is not really helping me get excited about it. I mean, I'm a network guy. I, I want to I want to deal with networking stuff. That's why I'm learning it. You know, I really honestly didn't make it past the first, you know, four or five videos in the series. I mean, it is horrible. So yeah, I can't tell you how many times I had to like start over with learning Python. I just, I, I would start it, get burnt out and then stop. And then maybe a couple months down the road, I'm like, oh yeah, I, I got to learn Python. I want, I want to be, you know, an amazing network engineer. I want to be ahead of the curve and and then I'd start again and then get burnt out because it's the same old thing. I, I swear, if I have to do one more Hello World course, I'm going to freaking lose it. It'll be a goodbye world situation. And you know, like um, any journey you start in life, uh, especially with network engineering, starting your CCNA, your CCMP, what have you, getting started is the hardest part, right? I mean, just getting the motivation, finding this, the tools and the, and, the, and the resources to start learning and actually doing, that's hard. Now, once you get rolling, once you get going, I mean, once you learn a little bit about how a, a packet goes across a network, once you learn what a MAC address is, and, and you could actually, you know, g plug in your computer to a switch and go, whoa, like that, that's amazing. But I found myself, man, over the years with Python, I just didn't make it past that point. Now, if you're watching this and you're wondering, well, why is a network engineer talking about programming? I mean, don't you guys kind of do your own thing? Programmers do their own thing. Uh, let me just tell you, if this is your first time hearing about this, these two worlds are starting to merge and network engineers are learning programming and, and programmers are, I hope, starting to learn networking. And I believe if you're a network engineer or you're starting to get your CCNA, you need to start learning programming a little bit of Python at the same time. I believe this is where the future is going. The industry is moving towards something called network programmability or SDN, software defined networking. Oh yeah, a bunch of, bunch of industry buzzwords. Um, some of the veterans will go, oh, well, they've been saying that for years. Who cares? It's not gonna happen. Well, it's happening and what those, really, what those buzzwords mean is basically automation, making things uh, easier to deploy. So basically instead of you know, programming a switch or a router one at a time via the CLI uh, command line. You'll you'll use a Python script and you could deploy 20 routers and switches at one time. Now, if you're watching this, no, it's not required to learn Python to become a network engineer, at least not now. Your typical run of the mill network engineer does not have to learn any programming right now. But since you're watching my channel, you're different. I know you're different. You want more, you want more money, you want more success, more freedom, more time. You wanna set yourself apart that's why you're looking on YouTube to better yourself and, and learn about networking. You want to be able to separate yourself from the crowd and move move ahead uh, of the herd. You want to be you want to be a unicorn. This is better be pretty freaking important. Now, I, I had talked about this before. Um, I'll put a video up here, and you can look at the link below. So if, if you want to know more about this, check it out. So I mentioned before, how did I start learning Python and actually not get burnt out? How do you start that process? Well, I'll tell you, if you ask any coder or any programmer, how do you start programming? How, what's the best way to learn? You know what they'll tell you? They'll say, start programming, <laughs> start coding. And it's almost like, well, yeah, I guess that makes sense. And it, it, really, it really does, it's that simple. And you know what, I took their advice. And for me, the best way to start coding and actually appreciate what I was doing was to actually program a router, program a switch and take what I would normally do in the CLI 
and do it in a pro a, a Python script. And and that's what I did. And once I knew how to do that, I mean, I I felt like I was actually making progress. Like I I was learning Python and, and making it applicable to my job. And yeah, I mean, it, it felt great. I actually did all of that yesterday. It took me one day to get up and running uh, in GNS3 and, uh, and I got Python and I, I programmed a router and I programmed a switch and it, it was fun. So what is, what is this mystical course I'm talking about? Well, let me introduce you to my friend, David Bomble. The time has arrived. Are you ready? probably heard of the guy. He's a pretty big deal on YouTube already. Uh, he makes a ton of stuff about GNS3. It's probably where you know him from the most. He actually does GNS3's training for most of their products. So if you're looking to get spun up in GNS3, which if you don't know what that is, GNS3 is like a, uh, it's like Packet Tracer. If you're going through uh, CCNA, I hope you are using Packet Tracer. Um, but it's a way to uh, simulate or emulate your, your routers and switches. And with the latest stuff they're doing, you can actually use uh, viral images from Cisco Viral, which a lot of, a lot of terms out here, but Cisco Viral is uh, Cisco's own uh, emulation program they created. And you can actually download these specific images that are designed for that and put them in GNS3. Now, it's not free. I, I gotta tell you that. These images aren't free, but if, if you know how to Google, you know how to find them. Get it? <laughs> well, anyways, David also produces, David Bomble also produces uh, courses on Udemy and a course called Python for Network Engineers, which I'm gonna link here, link below. That's what I'm doing and it's, it's awesome. I mean, you immediately get spun up in GNS3. He shows you all that stuff in the course and then he gives you the practical tools to start programming a router and a switch. And I'm only like a quarter of the way, actually not even a quarter, I'm, I'm just scratching the surface in the course and I've already done that, I'm having, I'm having fun, it's cool. I can already, I can already see uh, what I can do with this, uh, with this knowledge and what I'm going to do with it, I'm, I'm super excited. And, um, and I've got good news, that's the course I'm giving away, the Python for Network Engineers. He graciously gave us 10 courses to give away. So, how do you win this amazing course? And trust me, it's awesome. I mean, you're gonna love it. So here is how you enter. First of all, you have to be a subscriber of Network Chuck. Easy enough. Click that button right now. Subscribe. What are you What are you doing? Go ahead and do it. You also need to be a subscriber of David Bombo, which I will link below. Link here. Um, that's easy enough too. I mean, he produces amazing content. You're gonna love it. So once you're a subscriber of Network Chuck and David Bombo, you can then comment below. I want you to use the hashtag. Let's think of something fun like. Um, Hashtag, I want to be a unicorn. And then let me know what that training is gonna do for you, or why you want that training, or, or, or what, what makes you excited about networking, or really just anything you want, you want to tell me that'll just tell me, hey, I want this training. So quick, do this. I'm gonna pick the, the winners tomorrow, all 10. So hurry up and do this. Now, like I said, David Bombold produces a ton of training on Udemy, so uh, go check it out. I'll put some links below. He does CCNA training, he does all kinds of stuff. Um, and in case you don't know, um, Black Friday is coming up, which if you don't know what Black Friday is, uh, it started in America. It's basically where we, we give thanks on Thanksgiving, which we say, oh, thank you for everything. And the next day we go, I want to buy everything super cheap. I want to spend all my money. So it's, it's really fun. But everything's super discounted, and that includes training. Udemy has all these crazy deals. So please check out my links below if you need some Cisco training, Python training, anything training. They're going to have it. Well, guys, that's about it. Thank you so much for sticking with me and watching Network Chuck. Uh, if you haven't already, subscribe. Hit me up on all the socials, Instagram, Facebook, Twitter. I'm on there. Oh. All right, and last but definitely not least, uh, I wanted a chance to thank my patrons on Patreon. If you don't know what Patreon is, it's a way to support your favorite YouTube creators. Um, you know, with Network Chuck... I do all the stuff on the side after I do my regular job. So it's, it takes away time. It's, 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 it's fun. I love it. I mean, I love doing this, but it does take time. It does take a lot of effort. Um, I've invested some money into it. So uh, if, you, if you like what, what I do here on Network Chuck, um, go check it out. But anyways, these are the guys who have decided to support me. First guy, Levi Benning. He's a, what, what level is that? He's a network admin level supporter. Thanks, Levi. You're amazing, man. And then I have five senior, oh, and, and, and Mo. Mo wants to say uh, hi too and wants to say thanks. 
And I have five senior level supporters as well, senior network engineer level supporters. Um, Chris Romero, man, you were my first Patreon supporter. Thanks, dude, you're amazing. Eugene Finkel is another Patreon supporter, dude. Senior level network admin supporter, thanks. Kevin Rodriguez, another supporter, dude. Thank you so much. Cal Thompson, thanks, man, I so appreciate it. And Ian H, who did not list his last name. Thanks, Ian, for supporting Network Chuck. Thanks to all of you guys. If you want to know more about them, I'll list their uh, profiles below. And if I can find their LinkedIn information, I'll put it somewhere. So recruiters, if you're looking for somebody, these guys, you want to look them up. Well, anyways, um, this dude has some bad breath. Um, that's about all I have for you guys. Um, thanks so much for sticking with me. Catch you guys next time. Oh, and enjoy the holidays. Take a break. But uh, if you're like me, the holidays are some of the best times to get some really good, solid study in. So take some time to rest, but also take some time to study. The holidays can be a little stressful, so actually it's kind of nice to step away from the, the hustle and bustle and get some serious study in. Hey, if you win this course, ah, you, could, you could learn a little bit of Python over the, the break. Or, you know, there's a Black Friday sale going on. You can get it pretty cheap. I think it's like 10 bucks. If you don't win it, 10 bucks, dude. Just go buy it. Thanks, guys.